Welcome back to V2 Gaming. My name is Volkraza, and today we are doing the final update for my Workshop World Modular Ship Design. I would like to go ahead and thank everybody who has made suggestions. There's a list right here. There it is. Uh, who have made suggestions. I want to thank you so much for being a part of this project and just really uh, sharing your ideas with me. I hope that you guys like them, and I worked really, really hard. I will be working on a modular base. So modular stations are coming. Eh, not so soon, but I have another project I'm going to be working on before that. But modular stations are coming. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's take a look at the parts. So let's just hop back in my body right here. All right, so we're going to fly down here. Uh, we have some new things, basically. This is the open hangar module. Uh, it's super big. It's large, larger than the, um, than the than the other version. It still has the doors on the front if you want those. Otherwise, you can delete them and add more space if you'd like. But this is pretty much wide open, so you can fly a very big ship into here and uh, yeah, and go from there. All right. So this is a smaller one. This is an external uh, hangar hangar bay. So you can. It's just there, it's hooked up, it's ready to go. You can just land and it's pretty much open. And you can put a door back there if you would like. Uh, this is the mobile, not mobile, but uh, manable turret. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Right now it's kind of facing downwards. But basically, um, you, I tried to experiment with ways to get this thing to be able to lock in place and then reload and then unlock again. It was not exactly very successful. However, I was able to to put uh, things in here and have this uh, fill up with resources, basically. So you can put things in there, and then if you need things, you can transfer it to here and then unlock the turret. But then you would have to manually, unfortunately, transfer them over. Uh, to the cargo mon cargo container in here. Uh, it's pretty easy to use this thing. It's pretty much already set up. Uh, press one. All right, so we're in the thing, and it already has gyroscopes set up, and it's locked in place, so it's not going to move around too much. But it's it's good to go. Uh, it, it's pretty effective. Oops. There we go. Yep, and. Uh, I really, I'm fairly happy. It's small, it's compact, you can completely rotate around, so if you really, really wanted to and you weren't careful, you could definitely blow yourself up, which I'm not going to do. Okay. Alright, so moving on, we have, uh, let's see, this X-shaped module here. And basically, oops. Okay. Basically, uh, someone suggested this, and it's pretty good. You can fly in here. It's got an interior. Yeah, everything is piped up, so you don't have to worry about things not going where they're supposed to. Everything is pretty much ready to go. It's and it has windows. You can't really exactly see out of them. They're mostly for decoration. There's only so many places you can put um, pipes without them being uh, in the way or looking weird. Uh, going the wrong way. Okay, and this is the torpedo module. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I used this design for the Macy Dean tribute ship I did. Uh, it's a has a Iraq reactor, so you will have to put like at least one piece of uranium. There is a battery in there. If it fully charges, you could probably fire it, and it would be fine. Uh, but there is a there is a battery, but an and a reactor. And if you want some extra power, you can just put one piece of uranium. In there and off it goes. Uh, to fire these, you uh, arm them. Let's see, let's take a look at the list here. Press K. Okay, so you arm the torpedo and then you fire it. So basically, arming it, you're turning on the thruster to do override, then you're releasing it and off, and off it will go into the wildly yarn. I'm not going to demonstrate here because it's just one module piece and it's not attached to anything so it would this whole thing would just rocket off into the middle of freaking nowhere which is not not good okay all right so the very next piece is this little guy right here this is the undermounted 
or external torpedo module. Same kind of thing, okay? You've got a warhead at the front, same exact design. Um, yeah, it has a reactor and a battery, and the um, release points are right here. So you just release the torpedo, turn on the thing, and you can mount these under the wings that are um, over that away. So mount that under the wings or on the side, wherever you'd like, and off it would go. Okay, you just have to set up the groups, pretty much. This is a great suggestion I had by a uh, someone. I don't remember who made what, but you know I showed you the list. So if your name's on there and you see this, you're like, oh my god, yay! This is a battle bridge for the most part. I call this a battle command module. Basically, there are there are no windows, and unfortunately, because there's a lot of armor, it's very cramped in here. So I just kind of put a big line of cockpits and I tried to make it look as cool as possible for being an internal design and made it with gravity in mind. So this, this area of this walkway is clear if you would you know, if you want to walk around, etc. Most of the command modules do not have any kind of um, conveyor system, oh, which reminds me, um, all of those these pieces right here that have our duplicates are conveyored up, they're ready to go, you can replace um, your other blueprints uh, with those if you'd like. I'm also going to release, um, it's going to take a while because I have to uh, unhide all of the blueprints that I've already posted and they're already in a collection which I will have at the end of this video. You can uh, have a link to the collection. You can download them all at once. So they're ready to go, they're conveyored, and uh, and pretty much, pretty much good. So this is what I call a soft nose uh, cockpit Someone suggested this as well, and again, I don't remember your name, I'm so sorry, but again, your name is up there on that list. Uh, it's, I didn't exactly explain or show me how to make one of these, I just, they, they, it's, the name sounded cool, and I was like, what would that look like? So, I made this. Uh, it's got like a conning tower kind of feel. It almost kind of looks like the if I extended this middle part here, it'd be like the edge, the tip of somebody's like you know mage staff or whatever. It looks really cool. So you can fly in here, and there's this little small opening that you can fly in and sit in any one of the seats that are here. So any direction could be the direction you want. Okay. All right. That's awesome. Finally, I came up with this one myself in response to that X piece over there. It looked really cool, but <clears throat> I thought it would be really neat if they had a, a slash kind of piece. So, so this is a slash module uh, adapter, basically. And it's also uh, hooked up. This was pretty challenging to build, not like insanely challenging, because I could only use specific kinds of symmetry. I'll show you right here, the green kind. If I tried the other kinds, like the other two different planes of symmetry, it would be, it would not do what I wanted it to do. So I had to just do one, and that was kind of a pain. But it looks really good, I was very careful, and I forgot to add these pieces here. Oh my gosh! Well, how embarrassing. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll fix that real quick. Let's see, what does it need? And that stays the same, that goes there. Rotate, boom, problem fixed, yay, you saw nothing. <laughs> Finally, um, this, is, this has been an awesome project, guys, and you guys have had amazing suggestions, and I'm really excited. Um, also left the old module pieces here, if you see. Uh, here are the modules with conveyors, and I've added an N... Uh, basically made it to where you can walk around uh, on the inside and give it an interior for the most part. I try to let, leave as much space as possible and down here is the older version with absolutely nothing in there. Lots of room so you have to sacrifice space to put in other things so I sacrificed a little but try to make it look as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Same with all of these different pieces here. Um, so up here is another ship, you may have seen this on the forums, or whatever. Uh, it's another example ship uh, for you to fly around in. Uh, it has an antenna, oh that's the antenna for the, um, for the escape pods. 
But basically, I just put them together, put the ship together. Now you can, you know, continue building this thing if you would like. Uh, it has, you know, this big opening here, and you can, you know, seal this up if you want to. Uh, I just kind of put all the pieces together, and then it's your, up to you, the creative person, to uh, continue on the design um, and whatnot. So here, this one has a battle bridge and solar-powered thruster module, as long as with a factory. This is the T-shaped module. I had to cut it down to get it to fit in between these two pieces here, because these were originally out further by themselves. Uh, anyway, that is it. Um, really happy with how this pack turned out. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Whatever you can come up with, uh, you could probably build. Um, it's, very, it's very simple, and all the pieces fit well together, and they look really good. And... Uh, I'm really, really happy. Thank you, everybody, and I just can't thank you enough. Um, also, we've surpassed uh, 50 subscribers. Our next goal for a Q&A video or a special uh, subscriber video is 100 subscribers. So if you, if you would like to see that, tell your friends uh, about us. And if you like this kind of content, you know, give this video a thumbs up, and I will do more of it in the future. Uh, I've got more videos planned. Um, since LSG is going to be doing a combat league, I'm going to be doing videos about combat. So look for that in the very near future, as well as the modular stations in the future as well. So again, I can't thank you enough for stopping by. It means, it means the world. And as always, be good.